what's the deal? You already know it is. Back in the show with another video to pop out to y'all young boys. Maybe girls. But nah, for real, we about to get right into shit today. But I want to talk about, go back, take it back a little bit, talk about that whole self-reflection thing again. And I want everybody that watch this to just look in the mirror or just pretend you look in the mirror. It just ask yourself, am I really the victim? That's what, we, that's, what I, that's what I want to talk about. Am I really the victim? Because a lot of the time people get caught up in their whole player one attitude. I mean, who could blame you? I mean, nigga, you're player one. You're player one in your life. All you do is wake up, nigga. Like, I'm looking at a damn camera. Like, we see everything in first person. It's like, of course, you're going to always think about yourself. But look, you need to really look at yourself and be like, nigga, am I really the victim? Once you... Once you achieve, once you master the art of looking at yourself, it's just like, nigga, I'm going to just talk about me personally, nigga. The last, okay, let's, let's do relationships. The last few relationships I had, it was always, oh, I'm me pissed. Like, I'm mad as fuck. Oh, like how, why me? Like, they did this, they did that, they did this, they did that. But bro. You, when you just look at yourself and be like, nigga, am I really the victim? I mean, nigga, I done cheated on these people. I done done a lot of things behind closed doors. But when shit hit the fan and shit don't go my way, I feel like something was done to me. But it's like, nigga, we all was on bullshit at the end of the day. And... That's just really, that's just what it is, nigga. Like, when you, when you, when, when you do this, like a lot of people, like a lot of people still watching this right now, probably holding a grudge to somebody, holding the grudge to this person, that person, that person. But when you look at yourself and be like, okay, what did I do to this person? You'll be like, I mean, you got to call a spade a spade. Like, nigga, we both, we both did each other both. It's just, nigga, I found out or you didn't, you found out or whatever, like, nigga. It don't matter. It's just, it then, with that being said, it's like, bro, I don't even hold no malice or ill will to people that done stuff wrong to me because it's like, nigga, nine times out of 10, I probably did you way worse, but you just don't know. And I mean, I'm not proud of that, but it's like, bro, you gotta, you gotta call a spade a spade. It's like, you can be, you can feel some type of way all you want, but when you sit up there and you look at the bigger picture, like, damn, maybe this is, maybe this happened because of the karma that I built up. You feel me? Maybe, maybe I'm partially, but not even maybe, actually, yeah, let's just say maybe, maybe I'm partially responsible for whatever happened in my life. And it just, it goes beyond that, nigga. Think about anything really like nigga if you really if you if you really want to look at it say we all got good and bad karma so boom we raise our karma points in good ways and we get good shit back i mean this is like basic stuff but you got to really think about this like a lot of people got this victim mentality like everybody's against them and the world like why me da, 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 da. like but at the end of the day nigga think about what you're putting out into the world Boom. But think about what you put out into the world and think about what you get back. Like, boom, okay. Let's say these rappers, for example. A lot of these rappers is promoting bullshit. And there's a lot of shit that a lot of people listen to and it's influencing them in the wrong ways. So these rappers are putting out astronomically. <laughs> let me stop. Astronomical levels of bad karma and think about the shit that happens to them in return these niggas is going to jail these niggas are being shot at they losing family members they losing friends like bro these rappers are just using them as an example these dudes are putting out a lot of negative energy like they talking about killing people bro they're talking about taking lives they're bragging about lives they've taken and they're getting bad shit in return I mean, it comes with the good, which is the riches, but how good is it really when you think about what comes with 
these riches that they're obtaining. Think about the fake people that's attached to it, the 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 things they have to sacrifice just to get these things in return. Like the money might be a good little like good, but it's not really good. That shit probably still part of your bad karma. It's fucking evil ass money. So now shit, I'm already out of breath. But no, for real, bro. It's just like, bro, it's just really big on self-reflecting. You got to be able to look in the mirror and be like, damn, what the fuck have I done that put me in this situation? Like, I do it all the time. Anytime some fucked up shit happened to me, I, I instantly get to thinking like, damn, what did I do to, what did I do to build my fucking, my bad karma up this much? Like, to, for this to happen, like, and nigga, you go back to the drawing board. And once you get that, that, that one, like, it only takes one effect for me to be like it could be something little it take one effect for me to be like hold on there's something i'm doing that's not right it's time to go back to the drawing board so i can get my good karma up you feel me so better things can come to me in return like this video <laughs> raising good karma I, I get some good karma points just by putting this message out there it's it's, it's the little stuff what are you doing to raise your good karma or are you fucking I don't even need to go into what you probably, you know, you know what you need to be doing and what you shouldn't be doing. And it's simple. It's that for real. It's really a quickie. I'm going to throw this on Instagram and my channel because fuck it. So lay y'all. Take care. Stay safe. I own y'all boys. Ah. What's the deal? You already know what it is. Back in the show with another video. Ugh. To y'all young boys, maybe girls, but not. That shit kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like that. I don't like that intro. This that reality shit.